Good evening, Times Square Church. My name is Atella Williams. How do you say what God has done over years and years in a matter of minutes? <laughs> it's very difficult. Um, I'm, I, I got saved when I was in college in 1992 of April. And um, I was the first person in my household, my family, of uh, mother, father, uh, three other sisters, and a brother to get saved. And um, throughout the years, um, well, I'll just say this. When I was in college, actually even before I left for college, there was, a, there was something in my heart. I wanted to know God because I had seen Christians and I had seen Christians. And there's a difference uh, there's a difference between the people who say that they're a Christian and those who you can see that there's something about them that's totally different and you know this person is a Christian. And um, when I went away to college, I, I wanted that and I didn't really know how to get it. Um, but uh, someone I met invited me to a Christian retreat and um, I, I'm very introverted. i not outspoken at all. So... I said, okay, I'll go. I paid my $20, and for a college student, $20 is a lot of money. <laughs> and the friend who invited me backed out, but I said, I can't lose the $20. I'm going to go. So I went, and there in a little church, actually, the re we, I went on the retreat, and then I saw people getting filled with the Holy Ghost, and I was like, wow, God, that, that has to be you because it, it's, that's just who you, it just, it is just God. It was God. And um, I wanted that, but I knew I wouldn't have been able to get it because I knew I wasn't a Christian. And I knew God doesn't give something that great to anybody that's not his. And um, so the Sunday we went to this little, uh, this little church, little non-denominational church. It had about 20 people and my group of 10 went. <laughs> so um, there, I mean, God just, God, God met me. I didn't know, I didn't, I couldn't. I didn't know anything about salvation. I didn't know anything about redemption, justification, none of the occasions. I didn't know any of that. And, um, but he was there, and the pastor, he, he preached, and I, I don't remember what the sermon was, but he gave the invitation at the end. And for the entire weekend, I, the people I was with didn't know I was not saved. I knew I wasn't saved, but they didn't know I was not saved, and I didn't open my mouth because I knew if I did, they would beat me over the head with the Bible, and I'd be there all weekend, and I, it would just have been a mess. So I kept my mouth closed the entire weekend. But um, the pastor gave the invitation, and I said, I said, I can't go up because I didn't know at the time that Christians can go up to, to the altar <laughs> for prayer. And I was like, but they got up, and they went. I said, okay, I can sneak in here. <laughs> they won't even know. So I went up to the altar for prayer, and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I'm not saved. I'm not a Christian. I don't understand it all. But I'm there, and um, I'm on my knees, and my eyes are closed, and I, the pastor is singing, and I found a love that pardons. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is, this is wow, <laughs> this is serious. And I'm there, and I'm starting to cry. I'm starting to weep. And I don't know why I have this argument in my head. What's wrong with you? Like, I don't know. Are you, what's wrong? I don't know. I'm just crying. But as I'm there with my eyes closed, I can tell that he's getting closer. Because even though my eyes are closed, there's a glory about where, his, where he is. There's a glory of his silhouette. The presence of God was on him. And as he got closer, the glory of God coming near me got closer. And I was, I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. But I just kept crying, and he prayed over me. He said, you know, and I don't, I've never met this man. I don't know him. And he's praying everything that's in my heart. And he's saying, you know, um, um, Lord, it's not, my, it's not my mother. It's not my father, but it's me, and I'm here, and I'm in the need of prayer, and I need you to touch me. And I, I didn't know this man, and I started to weep even more. And, you know, he closed the, the, the service and everything, and I'm still crying. And he invites us the group of us that was there up further on the altar, it was like a step up. So we went up and he prayed for each of us to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And I remembered I had wanted it so much while I was at the retreat and I, I knew I wouldn't have been able to get it, but he started to pray over me and he was like, open your mouth and speak, open your mouth and speak. And I said, okay, I'll just say, in my mind, you know, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll say hallelujah. And before you know, I was filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, <laughs> I was filled. Praise God. And I knew, I knew, I knew I was saved. I knew it. And um, the two things I heard the Lord speak to me clearly. 
It wasn't an audible voice, but I knew it was God. And he said, Jesus is real and he's coming back. I never, ever forgot it. Never forgot it. And anyway, so make a long story short, I went back to my, my dorm and this was in Syracuse and I went back to my school up in, up in Ithaca and um, I cried the entire hour journey up. I cried the whole day. It was just, I, but the, I was so filled with the joy. I was so happy, but I just kept crying, but I was so happy, you know, and I told my mom and she's like, okay, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. But you know, my mom, she wasn't saved either. But to make a long story short, you know, throughout the years, God has been faithful. My mother has gotten saved. My three, my four, three sisters have gotten saved. Um, our husbands are saved. Um, my grandmother has gotten saved. I have aunts that have gotten saved. Cousins in, up, up in Buffalo, aunts in, in Canada. I mean, God has just been working in my family. And I can't even say it's anything that I have done because I don't even feel like I've done anything. But you know, when you have a heart for God, to, a desire to know Him, He will be faithful to make Himself known. And throughout the years, my mom, my sister just had surgery for breast cancer. My mother just had, just on Friday, had a fourth surgery for breast cancer. But God has been faithful. He's been faithful. He's been faithful. He's been faithful. So if any one of you <laughs> think doubts the existence of God, I'm a living proof that God is real. Jesus is real. And he is coming back. He's coming back. And if you want to know him, he will make himself known to you tonight. God bless you.